So what is going on YouTube? I am in Kyoto, Japan. I just got here a couple days ago and I figured I'd give you a tour of my apartment here. My apartment is right in the heart of the city and I've really been enjoying like just taking in all the sights and eating all the sushi. I couldn't have asked for a better place to live. So I've mentioned this before, I travel with remote year, so my place is included in the cost of my monthly fee for remote year. But if you were to try to find a similar apartment here, uh, it's actually pretty expensive. On Airbnb, you're talking between $1,300 and $3,000. Um, Nomad List says you can find a one bedroom here for around $700, but I haven't been able to find that. So if you know how to find a cheap place in Kyoto, let me know. Um, I live in a studio apartment here. I'm not sharing this month. So if you share accommodations, you might be able to find a little bit more affordable place. So I'm actually coming up on my building now. I live in this pretty cool little alley here. I'll show you here real quick. And then I live up in this building with all the colorful doors. It's called Shizo Solitaire. What's really cool about the city is it's super safe. Like a bunch of my friends rented bikes are right here and nobody locks their bike up here. You just don't have to worry about it getting stolen. There is no elevator here, but it's easy to find your floor because the doors are all really colorful and I know that my doors are orange. <laughs> so I'm on the third floor. All right, so here's my orange door. <laughs> I've mentioned this before, I prefer studios, so even though this place is really small, I actually kind of like that. All right, so when you come in the door, there's this little kind of like carved out area. And that's because in Japan, you do not walk around your apartment with your shoes on. So my landlord actually gave me these slippers but they're way too small for me, so I just have to walk around barefooted. <laughs> All right, so pretty much see my whole apartment here. In Japan, they recycle. So I have a bunch of trash bins. Have this cool stand-up mirror here. And then we have the kitchen over here. I've said this before, I don't cook, so there's not much of a kitchen here. There is a stove, but Again, I don't cook, I eat out, and I'm in the perfect place for eating out because the food here is great. It's like a little hotel style refrigerator, which is perfect for me. The only thing I put in here is like coffee, soda, and tea. I'm actually starting to really get in the green tea, especially the ITON. I really like it, and I think I'm gonna switch from soda over to green tea. So if you think that's a good idea, comment below. So over here is my bathroom. It's really small, but it is what it is. Kind of cool, my place actually came with conditioner, shampoo, and body wash. I'm a minimalist traveler. I travel with only one backpack, so usually I buy that stuff when I get into the country. So here I didn't have to do that. Um, one of the really cool things about Japan are the amazing toilets they have. I don't know why the rest of the world does not adopt uh, Japanese toilets. They are phenomenal. The seat is also um, warm, which is pretty awesome. All right, so again, this is gonna be a short tour. <laughs> so I have this little TV stand here. I haven't used it yet. I'm not sure if I have any channels, um, but at some point I will. And then I have this little desk area so I can work. I think 30 and a wake up is playing right now. <laughs> so that's where I do all my video editing. It's perfect for me. And then over here, have my little small bed. I would prefer a little bit bigger bed, but this one works. It actually was pushed up against the wall when I originally got here and I moved it this way, long ways. It just works better for me. And then a lot of places in Japan don't have closets. So I'm pretty fortunate I have a decent sized closet. And finally, we've got this outdoor area. I've got a nice view of the alley if I can get this screen door open. So yeah, not a great view. Not as good as my view in Chiang Mai, but it'll work. 
Also, something that is so important to me, a washer. It's not as humid here as it was in Chiang Mai and Vietnam, so my clothes actually dry really, really quick, which is nice. All right, so that's my apartment here in Kyoto, Japan. I plan on making a bunch of travel videos, doing all kinds of really cool things here in Kyoto. So if you enjoy that kind of content, make sure you subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh.